Good morning, everyone. Quel uh, plaisir de vous voir uh, ce matin. It's a real pleasure to be back in the Sioux. Great uh, opportunity to uh, be here with uh, Terry and uh, Glenn Thibault and all of you uh, as we dig into uh, and talk about sort of the impact of uh, the uh, Canada-U.S. relations on the steel industry, on the Sioux, on uh, uh, jobs, and on most of the families uh, around here that are obviously uh, going through a bit of, uh, or went through a bit of uncertainty as there was concern around uh, uh, around tariffs and around uh, uh, the U.S. administration's approach. Um, as, uh, as you know, we've been working extremely hard uh, to uh, ensure that the American government understands just uh, how closely related we are on the economic file, how uh, so many jobs in the U.S. depend on uh, good steel that comes from Canada as part of the supply chain. Um, also highlighting the uh, national security uh, integration. And while I was over to Goldman this morning, I saw a, uh, a plaque uh, and a, a actual model of uh, some of the steel that was uh, sent to the U.S. Marine Corps uh, for their armored vehicles uh, back in 2004 and, and ongoing. So uh, we know that in terms of national security, we've been incredible partners. Uh, in terms of projects built, we can see uh, the bridge built with local steel here that uh, literally connects uh, Canada to the United States. These are things uh, that uh, I highlighted to the President that we've been working, uh, not just between me and the President, but throughout all different levels of uh, Canadian government and, uh, and allies. Uh, that's where I want to highlight uh, the provincial leadership, the leadership of various municipal uh, councillors and mayors across the country, business leaders, uh, making the case for uh, continued positive integrated trade with the United States. Uh, it's been ongoing, it's been a, a real team effort, uh, and Canada's been united. I mean, one of the really strong things about our approach is uh, we're all saying the same kinds of things from very, very different perspectives. And without being able to work together and have everyone on the same page, it would have been a real challenge. I want to specifically and, and especially thank uh, Labour as well. Um, Leo Girard, uh, the USW, and uh, uh, leaders throughout, uh, throughout the uh, organized labor uh, organizations have, uh, have been very, very helpful in making the case for good jobs on both sides of the border, and that's something that has been, uh, has been ongoing. I very much look forward to uh, the discussion we're going to have this morning about the path forward, about uh, further challenges we're going to meet. We'll talk a little bit about NAFTA as well, uh, but uh, I'm very much looking forward to hearing from all of you as well. So uh, thank you very much for being here. Merci d'être ici. C'est une opportunité pour nous uh, de continuer à travailler ensemble uh, pour démontrer aux Américains à quel point l'intégration de nos économies uh, c'est bon pour le Canada, c'est bon pour les Américains, uh, c'est bon pour les emplois uh, des deux bords de la frontière. Et nous allons continuer de travailler ensemble pour uh, compétitionner de façon réussie avec le monde. Alors uh, c'est du travail qu'on va continuer à faire. It's a real pleasure to see you all. Looking forward to, uh, to hearing from you all. I'll now pass it over to Terry Sheen, who's a uh, uh, local MP who you all know very well. Thank you ever so much, Mr. Prime Minister. And I cannot stress how important this, uh, this it is. You know, I, I have to underline and highlight how quick you were to uh, stand up for steel. How quickly, right off the mark, you called this uh, calling the President Trump and, and having those discussions. And, I do agree with some of the meeting that Trump does have a, a, a great deal of respect for you and uh, you know, your words uh, weigh heavy on him. And coming out here um, further demonstrates your support for steel, um, not only to this community, not only to people in the steel industry, labor, business, and producers. It demonstrates it to Sioux Savory, it demonstrates it to Canada, it also demonstrates to our friends across the river uh, as well that uh, you stand for steel. So again, I appreciate that very, very much. I know that this has been in Sioux City, we've been all hands on deck. Uh, we've been working with labor, we've been working with chain, we've been working with municipal government, we've been working with producers, we've been working with stakeholders as well, uh, as well as the farmers as well, that we don't see here. So uh, again, preemptive stuff that we did before, uh, your, your uh, plan to send us out to Washington. I was there twice talking about the importance of steel, and I used Stelcom and Tenaris as examples of how integrated our steel markets were. And I was pleased to see a variety of the uh, representatives that we met with come out 
in speakable exclusion for Canada, including you know, Ohio's Tim Ryan that has uh, steel interest in his own place. So your leadership has been amazing, and uh, you know, you're demonstrating today your support for steel and your future support. So thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister. Can't thank you that much. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Thibault. Thanks, um, Prime Minister and uh, uh, Terry and your Worship. It's, it's great to be here in the soup. Um, I know everyone's here to talk about what your issues with the Prime Minister, so I'm going to be very brief. But it is important for me to be here to talk about um, how we at the province are so happy and so pleased to see a federal partner that we have engaged with us on this subject. We recognize that 70% of all of the steel uh, in this country come from Ontario, comes from Ontario, and so starting with Hamilton and coming to here at Sault Ste. Marie is, is paramount for us. And, you know, we'll continue to look forward to working together with uh, the federal government. But again, thank you for being here, and I'll hand it over to you and get into the dialogue. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think probably the first thing we should do is just go around the table, have everyone have an opportunity to introduce himself, and maybe bring up uh, one or two of the issues that they have. Thank you very much, media. Thank you.